You ever try to get Kurt Cobain's guitar tone? It's like trying to make instant noodles taste like five-star ramen. You can get close, but deep down, you know you're just slurping regret. <laughs> First, you need a Fender Mustang or Jaguar. These guitars are like the fast food of instruments, affordable, reliable, and a little greasy Cobain loved them because they were cheap. And I respect that. The man made never mind with a guitar that looks like it got a coupon code. <laughs> then there's his amp setup. Oh, you want his Mesa Boogie preamp and Crown Power amp? Good luck. By the time you've bought all that, you're gonna be a starving artist. His amp settings were all about mids. No scooped mids here. This isn't metal, it's existential crisis with strings. Now the pedals. The Boss DS1 and DS2 distortion pedals, because why have one distortion when you can layer two and scream? I mean it this time. And don't forget the small clone chorus pedal for that underwater sound play. Come as you are with it, and suddenly you're in a submarine full of feelings. But here's the truth. Cobain's sound wasn't just about the gear, it was his attitude. Dude could break strings mid-performance and just keep playing. Meanwhile, I break one string and I'm like, well, I guess I'll take up knitting. So if you want his tone, just remember, it's not about perfection. It's about passion. Play like you're in a garage, not a guitar store. And most importantly, turn up the distortion until your neighbors either start a grunge band with you or call the cops. 